This is Willie over here at uh, Hatch Finders in Livingston, Montana, and tonight I'm going to be calling, tying up uh, what I call my T-Rex worm. And you can call it the Mini T for the smaller versions or the T-Rex. And uh, I'm going to be using a 135 size 8. You can use a larger hook. The main material in this um, is going to be your squid that you find all over. And they come in a lot of different colors. They come in all kinds of things, but they're already pre-cut. Uh, it, it's a very simplistic worm. And a lot of fly fishermen, they use little bitty worms, and they use a vernil worm, and they use all these worms. But what they really need to use is, is a blooming night crawler. And that's what this thing is. Um, I'm using a 140 Denier Flymaster Plus in red. I'm going to come up there and start that thread. And it takes a really long time to tie this fly. Um, once you get started on it. What I've done is I've just tied myself a little piece right there. I'm going to select one of the legs off the squid and I'm going to trim that at an angle just a little bit just to kind of give it a little short point. And that way you have an extremely active little piece of material. And I'm going to lay that right up there on that thread like so come up and give it a loose wrap because it kind of wants to move around on you a little bit and then start making an open palmer across that piece of thread that I had and that's about all there is to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tie that down nice and secure. You can see there's all kinds of movement on this, you know. I'm going to go ahead and tie in a half hitch and then I'm going to wrap myself kind of a thread base. I and a half hitch, and I'm going to add a little bit of scud back in red, and I'm going to lay that right there on the side, put a couple of good wraps on that, and advance my thread forward, bring up the head of the worm, wrap underneath it, come in underneath here like so, and I'm going to take this scud back, and I'm just going to wrap over those threads that protects that thread and it gives it a really neat looking um, transparent heart to it. And I'll hold that up like so with my finger and I'm actually going to tie off around and underneath there because I want that thread buried underneath there to protect it. Bring this up, make some good wraps there, throw in a half hitch. Then I'll angle it up like so. Kind of a unique way that I uh, whip finish this thing. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and hang it like so. Slide it right up in there and I'm not even going to hang on to that bobbin. I'm just going to wrap that whip finish right back across like so. Treat it with some head cement. As soon as you're done and there's the T-Rex worm.